scale. In the beginning, making progress, achieving inner peace may seem like an uphill climb. This is perfectly natural. After all, you're working against your habits. This is not how your mind is normally set up. As I mentioned earlier, everything in your life is a choice. As unhealthy as your current thinking patterns may be, at the end of the day, you chose them at some point earlier in time. Now that you have adopted the practices described in this training, you are deprogramming yourself. Don't expect a lot on day one, or even day 100. Just take it one day at a time. Eventually, as you get used to it, things will start to improve. Things get easier and easier over time. Eventually, you will be able to achieve a deep sense of inner peace. At first, this inner peace is something that you experience when you are consciously practicing mindfulness. This means you schedule a certain amount of time at a specific place when you do it. However, once it becomes second nature to you, and you know the steps like the back of your hand, you can then let your inner peace spread to other areas of your life. Please understand that the skills that you learn in managing your thoughts can apply across the board. You can apply it to your relationships, your body image, your personal ambitions and goals, and everything else. Living with Integrity Once you have achieved a tremendous amount of peace and focus thanks to the art of learning how to be quiet, you can then start to live with integrity. You know what your grand objectives are. Everything must line up to it. Otherwise, you're not living a life of integrity. The good news is when everything lines up, every day is an adventure. Every day is full of great promise. Every day can lead to happiness and joy. Please note that this happiness and joy are not something that you enjoy in the distant future or after you achieve certain things. No, you enjoy them in the here and now. From inner peace comes real confidence because everything lines up. Everything has meaning. Everything has purpose. Create an upward spiral. When you work with confidence, you become more competent. This is obvious. Why? Well, when you're confident, you try a lot more things. When you try a lot more things, sometimes you fail. Sometimes you succeed, but sooner or later, you learn how to succeed more often than you fail. This then leads to greater competence because now you're able to do things the right way so you succeed more often, which then makes you feel more confident. You're able to try out more and experiment more, which leads to even greater levels of confidence, competence, and on and on it goes.